Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The project title is Expertite Message Authentication Protocol for Vehicle Ad Hoc Networks. The goal of this process is that vehicles are attracted to each other, they try communicate with each other, but vehicles want to ensure whether the message has been injecting with false data or not, whether the data has been in attack with uh, attacks like modifying the data, injecting the false information like that. When they, vehicles communicate with each other, there should be a two strategies like security as well as integrity. It means that the vehicle should should uh, should consume the time while transfer well, message transportation and also communication. So existing on the paper is that when vehicles transfer to each other, they want they have no any integrity that the data has received accurately is right or not. The vehicle used to receive that message but there is no trusted authority whether the data has been uh, modified or not to ensure that a trusted authority is added here the trusted that work of this trusted authority is that to uh, there will be a roadside units in order in order to uh, review view the vehicles so there will be a security among the vehicles and integrity is verified data is sent along with the macro in order to verify the integrity now let us see the data flow of the process First of all, vehicles will be installed to the trusted authority. A key will be generated to the uh, each vehicles in order to communicate with each other. Using that key, the vehicles used to communicate with e each other. The source and destination will be selected. Key will be exchanged for communication. And before transfer, well, when the destination receives the data, there is an accept be the, before checking the CRS status. Once the CRS status is revoked, is not revoked, then the re receiver will receive the data. Otherwise, if it is revoked, it will be trying the hash value and revo non revoking the process has been held on later only the message will be accepted by the destination after accepting the destination integrity verification will be happening in order to ensure that data has been has been saved from uh, security attacks like injecting the false data or it's modifying the data now shall we see the process of the project first you need to run the network.java here we have to initialize the uh, networks in the networks in the thing then we have registered here the signature id we have registered here and key has been generated public key secret key and timestamp has been generated and we have to check the TA status then destination should be selected similarly it is since it is multicasting with us single source may communicate with multi destination and key has been generated to communicate with each other and RSU status the, the RSU means our outside unit it is to it is to watch the vehicles process then we have to select the source ID, public key. We have to upload a message that is going that is using this transfer to the destination. Then destination ID should be selected. Mark code has been generated. Similarly, secret key should be generated and mark code has been verified here. Data should be encrypted and you have to click send and you have to run receive.java there you have to click start and you have to check for verifying cl status time shaft should be given here and to check whether uh, so hence the source id one has been revoked so we have to make it as a non revoked process we have to generate hash chain value and we have to make it as cl status then particular hash chain value has been generated it has been updated and updated status will be displayed as non revoked process so the destination uh, source has been become as non revoked process and once it, once it is become non revoked process the secret key should be updated now we have to check for verification status so verify message authentication it is so destination should be ensured that whether it is an authorized vehicle or not then pub using the public key cipher text should be decrypted then sender code and receiver code is generated and we have to check whether integrity has been received or not. It is received, message has been received and you have to click view. So message has been viewed here. Then, then after that once it's viewed we have to view, we have to check whether the data has been received or not. By viewing that integrity and security can be verified among the communication between the vehicles. Thank you for listening the process. Thank you.